Hello friends, so welcome to another question of the day and this question is what is the remainder when 1989 into 1990 into 1991 plus 1992 to the power 3 is divided by 7. So this question can be categorized as a let's say question of number theory or especially or specifically it is uh, regarding divisibility in number theory right so either you can use modular arithmetic for this or you don't actually require any high-end stuff to solve this problem so uh, uh, how do we approach so this is how we have solved it so 1989 if you notice can be expressed as 7 times 284 plus 1 this is important thing why we have picked up 7 because we will express any number in terms of multiples of 7 and plus some remainder so basically if you see this is nothing but euclidean's uh, euclid's division lemma where uh, a can be expressed as uh, bq plus c where uh, sorry not bq plus c bq plus r where r is the remainder and uh, 0 less than equal to r less than b this is what we are going to use so hence here a is 1989 and b is 7 so if you see 1989 is 7 times 284 plus 1 similarly 1990 is is equal to 7 into 284 plus 2 and 1991 is equal to 7 into 284 plus 3 right now we are saying let's uh, let us say that 284 be k why i'm assuming it to be k because otherwise it will be too cumbersome to write this number again and again so let it let it be k now, hence 1989 is 7k plus 1, 1990 can be written as 7k plus 2, 91 can be written as 7k plus 3, and 1992 7k plus 4. Now, let us say the given expression in the arithmetic, you know, uh, calculation which is there. So, x is equal to, let us say this is x, x equals to 1989 plus 1990. I'm sorry, I have written it a little wrongly. So, it is not plus, it's multiplication both here. So let us say it is 1989 into 1990 plus into 1991 plus 1992 to the power 3. So expressing this in terms of uh, whatever we just did 7k plus 1, 7k plus 2, 7k plus 3 and 7k plus 4 whole cube. Now you can uh, do the you know simplification. So I have multiplied these two terms first of all. So I'm multiplying these two. So opening it you will get this particular term then 7k plus 3 is as it is and then you use the identity a plus b whole cube to get this correct now what do we do so i have just now the next step in this multiplication will be you take this term and uh, you take this term and multiply with 7k isn't it so that term is here okay and then 3 multiplied by the entire term again and i have opened up so i have taken this 3 which 3 this 3 and multiply this with the entire this term so you will get this 3 into 7k square plus 9 into 7k plus 6 3 into 2 is 6 so this is the term and here you have i have written all the 7k terms if you see together and then the last term 4 to the power cube 3 is 64 which can be written as 63 plus 1 why am i writing 63 because i can take 7 common from it you'll see a little while later now uh, here the first term again in the in the first part of this this term if you see and the entire thing i have taken the 7k thing together so 7k the first term then all the 7ks are together and then i have left this 6 to be added later on with the 1 which was which will which is here okay so hence if you express all of them so you'll see all the terms contain 7 can you see this 7 here 7 here 7 here 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 right and the last two terms are 63 plus 7 yeah that is 70 again so if i take 7 common and whatever is the rest i can call it as m then this entire big expression can be expressed as 7m plus 70 isn't it 70 is coming from this part 70 and 7 times m is coming from the other part which is remaining over there so then i can write it as 7 times m plus 10 now clearly m is an integer so m plus 10 is also an integer so hence i can express x as 7 times so hence x is equal to 7 into some integer an integer let's say an integer isn't it that means what this means 7 
divides x and uh, the expression is like this so this whenever you see a vertical bar separating two expression you can say uh, you can assume that the left hand side divides the right hand side here right so 7 divides x so hence if 7 divides x the remainder must be 0 right so this is the answer so when 7 divides entire big expression this one x here the remainder is 0